Welcome back into the racing game series where we continue building our racing game and in this video we're going to take a look at how we can build the camera following system and what it should be able to do. So before we go ahead and actually take a look at the code I'm just going to show you the key features that the camera should do. So first of all the camera has this lerping time which I have defaulted to 2 and the forward distance which should be between 2 and 3.5. So the ideal number is at 3. And I'll show you the code behind this in a very little while. And these are the camera positions. So here's the gameplay. Okay, so here is the code behind the camera controller and it is kind of complicated. So I'll try to explain what it does and how it works. So basically we have a new position that just lets us cycle between these positions. So these are the location indicators, indicators and the camera position, which I just talked about. And these are kind of hard coded for now at the start. So these are just preset positions. So after I hard code them, I just find these references. So attached vehicle is, is obviously the player, which holds in the car controller. The focus point is this point of the car right here. So where the camera should focus or look at. And then I made this first focus point, which is not being used anymore. I just used it for debugging purposes. The target is just a transform that makes our life just a little bit easier. So we don't have to use this focus point on transform dot position and so on and so on. So basically how we use this camera to follow our player is very very simple. So we just use a vector 3 lerp from the transform position into the new position right here. And we use a simple lerp time. Then we have this very interesting G-force measuring technique. So here is how you measure the G-force. If you don't know what a G-force is, maybe you want to look it up. But the G-force should be measured always in the fixed update, otherwise it will not work. Here is the code that measures G-force. And the way it measures it is very, very like sudden. So it suddenly goes from 0 to 1, then back to 0, all within like three frames so i use this lerp to kind of stabilize it or smooth it and then i use this acceleration effect to give the camera acceleration effect so basically what this is going to do is just rotate the camera like this when we accelerate and rotate the camera into the other direction when we deaccelerate so it kind of gives us the effect of accelerating so the way i've solved the rotation problems is that i just made a child object so here is the camera child object so instead of rotating the parent object i just rotate the camera object so now i can just rotate one axis and i don't have to worry about these other axes if you want to use this camera system here is the code you can just copy and paste it these these lines are for debugging purposes that I used earlier. And that is basically how simple it is. So we use this math.move forwards because this lerping mechanism does not work very, very nicely. So we use a additional move towards. That just brings the camera object closer to the car. So here is the code again. You can copy it and paste it. You can use it if you want to. And then we have a very simple look at position. The code should work flawlessly. And if you want the camera to tilt just a little bit more when we accelerate, what you can do is, where we use this acceleration effect, what you can do is add in a times two, or maybe you want it even more, times three. So just add in your number in here. Let's see how it actually works. So we're, here it is, the camera tilts a little bit up when we accelerate. The camera should tilt down when we deaccelerate, and we can see the g-force is minus one. Okay, so that is basically all I have prepared for this episode. If you're wondering where I got this map, I literally just built it today. 
here is the whole entire map and I will make a tutorial on how you can build this map for yourself. It's not a very pretty map, I know, but it gets the job done. So thank you for watching and I will be seeing you in the next videos.